Never thought I would see Andy Serkis sing What Is Love, but now that I have, I'm glad I did. Black Panther. Black Panther is the 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, directed by Ryan Coogler. And this film stars Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, Lupita Nyong'o, Andy Serkis, and many others. The plot of this film is that it takes place after the events of Captain America's Civil War. T'Challa, aka Black Panther, played by Chadwick Boseman, returns home to Wakanda to serve as king after his father's death. He is soon challenged by a man named Eric Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, and he wants to be king for very personal reasons. Before going into this film, I love seeing Black Panther in Captain America Civil War. He was one of the best parts of that movie. After watching that movie, I was excited to see a solo movie. I wanted to see more of him, wanted to see Wakanda. The trailers got me hyped. I was so excited for this movie and Ryan Coogler directing. And although I haven't seen Fruitvale Station, I adored Creed. It's one of my favorite films of 2015. Great continuation of the Rocky franchise. Fantastic movie. If you have not seen this movie, please do so. It's amazing. Please check it out. And how did Sylvester Stallone not win the Oscar for this movie? There's been a lot of hype surrounding this movie the past couple weeks, and people have been praising it, saying it's one of the best Marvel Cinematic Universe films, if not the best. And I gotta say, Black Panther was awesome. Love this movie. This is my top 10 favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't know about if it will make my top five, but maybe if I'll see it again, maybe. But for now, it's definitely in the top 10 for me. I love this movie. This was great. First, Ryan Coogler's directing, not just for the action, which I'll get to later, but for the world building of Wakanda is fantastic. The scope of Wakanda, showing their showing their other rituals work and their politics it is all fascinating and this is a beautifully directed film the production design the cinematography is fantastic some of the best i've seen for a marvel movie in a long time about the action it is fantastic there's just so much energy he put into them the combat scenes and and if you loved the one take boxing scenes in creed there is an action scene that takes place in a casino that was amazing. Love that scene and the car chase after that was a ton of fun. The performances by everyone to cast, great. Not one bad performance to be seen. Chadwick Boseman, after seeing him in Civil War and this, he is the perfect choice as T'Challa and Black Panther. The emotions he go through in this movie, facing him being the king of Wakanda, it is fantastic what he goes through in this movie and him being awesome in the action scenes once again. This Civil War, I can't wait to see him in Infinity War. Chadwick Boseman is awesome as T'Challa and Black Panther. I also want to mention the women in this movie were awesome. They're not damsels in distress. They kicked but in this movie, Lupita Nyong'o plays T'Challa's love interest. She was great. I also want to mention these two. Whoever played these two characters, awesome. First, Shuri, who was T'Challa's sister. She was so funny in this movie. She has great moments of comedy that worked very well, and she was great in the action. Second character, Okoye, and she was awesome. She was one of my favorite characters in this movie. I loved her scenes in this movie. And there are many performances that are great too. Andy Serkis having a ton of fun in a non-motion capture performance as Ulysses Claw, one of the film's villains. It was funny and also menacing at times. Forrest Whitaker is great. Daniel Kaluuya from Get Out, happy he's getting more roles. He's really good. Martin Freeman, Everett K. Ross from Captain America Civil War. He's back and he gets more to do in this movie. He's good, but... In my opinion, the standout of this movie, Michael B. Jordan. Although I will admit Marvel has been lacking with their villains, aside from Loki, Hela, the Vulture, Ego, Zemo. Most of their villains haven't really been that memorable, aside from those that I mentioned, but one you got to add on the list, Eric Killmonger, and I'm just gonna say it. After processing this thought, I'm ready to admit this. 
this is the best Marvel Cinematic Universe villain yet. And yes, I like him more than Loki. I love Loki, but Eric Killmonger, he is not only menacing when he needs to be, even charismatic at times, and even funny, some good comedy out of him, but understandable motivations. You understand where he's coming from. He has a fantastic backstory, such an emotional backstory that makes you understand his character and where he's coming from and why he's doing the things that he's doing. And he's not just evil for the sake of just being evil. He has reasons. Michael B. Jordan knocked this role out of the park. So happy to see him in a great comic book movie that's not this piece of crap and we can all forget about that. He has redeemed himself in comic book movies by delivering us a fantastic villain. The music is great. Not just the Kendrick Lamar soundtrack, which is also great, but the musical score. There was one scene where T'Challa has a vision where he's talking to his father. The music is amazing in that scene. And like I said, this movie has some pretty good comedy. And if you are worried that this is one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe films, that is going to use comedy way too much, don't worry, it's used sparingly. There's not too much of it. It worked well. And there were moments where I didn't expect to laugh and I did not expect a joke coming and I ended up laughing, surprisingly. I've been hearing people complaining about the pacing of this movie, saying it was very long and you can definitely feel the movie's lengths and honestly, I disagree. I didn't mind the pacing. I was always invested in the story, no matter what was going to happen, whether it was action or just characters talking, I was always entertained about what was going to happen, what's going on, and I didn't mind the pacing of this movie. It never dragged for me. I enjoyed this movie throughout. As for issues with the movie, honestly, I can't think of any. I loved everything about this movie. Overall, Black Panther was awesome. One of the best Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Great cast, great action, great humor, great world building, great music, great everything. Loved Black Panther and very happy to say this, first movie of 2018, Black Panther gets ba bam Five out of five stars, love this movie, had a blast with this movie, I can't wait to see it again. It's gonna make so much money at the box office, I bet. And please check out Black Panther, it's a must see. So what do you guys think of Black Panther? Do you agree? Disagree with me? Let me know below. And also, a question I want to ask you guys, what's been your favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie so far? Let me know below. And don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new here. It really means a lot. I'm Jack Benner, and look forward to another movie review.